like to take a second to introduce you to the Naughty Racing wheel runout gauge. It's machined aircraft aluminum, black anodized. Comes with the Allen wrench you need stored right on it. Held in place by magnets. Won't go anywhere. This gauge is designed to use a standard one inch dial indicator that mounts with a quarter inch lug back and it also uses standard gauge pins in this V groove uh, to mount your wheels on. Here's what I'll show you the assembly the assembled unit now. Gauge pins installed. It's a .0965 minus gauge pin, which means it's a few tenths smaller than .0965, so it would be a slip fit for a .0965. The gauge is also ambidextrous when you're checking wheels. I like to have it on the right side to check a wheel. Um, it's also made so that you can turn it over, extend the pin through this side, put your gauge on this side, and then you could move the wheels with your left hand if you want to. I like to use a washer. on the gauge pin to uh, set the placement of my wheel. See there with the standard tip on the indicator, it's riding right, just right on the outside edge. Try to zoom in there for you. So through the use of washers, you can adjust the ride height, checking your wheel. Put your wheel on. You can set your gauge to zero. and spin your wheel to see your run out. That wheel right there is just a hair over a one thousandth of an inch. And that's on the, the top side of the wheel. We can install a few more washers check the bottom edge of the wheel one too many now you can see we're right at the bottom edge of the wheel so we can spin it just find our low spot set it to zero again and then turn our wheel. This one on the bottom edge of the wheel almost two thousandths right there. So, you can see the setup, how I would do that. It's important to keep your wheel um, in the same place and to fit a, a decent sized pin in the wheel. Um, the closer the pin you have, uh, the better the reading you're going to get. 
but uh, with the wheel bore variants I find the 0965 to, to give a satisfactory um, starting point of a gauge pin. Take these washers back off here and leave my my one on the bottom. I'd like to show you something that uh, I really like over this, which is a it's a different tip for the indicator. If you want your regular tip can be stored right on the magnet right there it won't fall off it's stuck there the Allen wrench is there all right here's here's my favorite this is a wide ground flat indicator tip and I like to use this to simulate the track surface. Here's the wheel that we were checking earlier. Now you'll see I have full contact on the gauge. So at this point the gauge is going to uh, pick up any variance uh, not only in run out but also any other uh, shape defects that would be touching the track surface. So once again we can find our low spot, zero our gauge, and then give the wheel a spin to check for the run out. And you see we're just over a thou again on this one right there the nice thing about the the wide flat to simulate the track surface is you can really feel when you spin it you can really feel um, any bumps nicks dings whatever then you could see if you could fix them or get rid of them So this wheel's been machined um, slightly. I have another one here that's been machined. Show you the run out on it. That's a pretty darn good wheel. This one's been lightened on the inside. What I'd like to do now, we'll just pop open a standard Pinewood Derby car kit here to give you an idea the quality of wheels you might get out of the box and why it would be important to to check your wheels Now you'll notice uh, the 
this wheel moved, which indicates that it's bigger than the last wheel that I had on there. So I'll just spin it quick, find the low spot, zero it out, and then rotate it. See what we have here. Four thousandths on the first one. Believe it or not, that's probably not terrible for out of the box. Find our low spot again. There you can see a some kind of rough spot there. Not only can I feel it, you can see the needle jump. Now if you look through here, you can see the daylight between the flat surface and the wheel. Some kind of little burr on there. Just rocking the wheel back and forth so you can see it. You can see that bounce on the gauge. Just rocking the wheel back and forth over that burr. That actually looks like it might have been a some kind of particle out of the box. Let's try it now. There we go. That's an exceptional wheel out of the box. less than two thousandths. Move on to the next one. So once again, four thousandths. Move on to the last one. And looks like that one's going to be four thousandths also. That's actually a pretty good set. Uh, last time I measured some, I had up, up to the average was probably six thousandths, and um, there were some up to twelve thousandths. So that's the Naughty Racing wheel runout gauge. We hope you like it.